Hey guys, Rocket Blade here. Once again, what's up everybody? As you can see, I got a, a nice haircut. Thanks to my folks. Appreciate it. This is not a good RTB podcast. This is an RTB podcast. Welcome. This is not a good one. A happy one, to say the least. It's just... You know, I know there's some RTB podcast that talks about you know, controversies, and, and not only bad things, but good things, too. But this is an episode where it just, the two stories I talked about today, just, it just gets worse as it goes on, especially the last one, which you see from the thumbnail title. First one being legendary voice actor Troy Baker will not, re- 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 you know, re- replay his role as Yuri from Tales of Vesperia. Because they're coming out with a HD remake of Tales of uh, Ves- Vesper- Vespera. Yeah, Tales of Vespera. It's coming out for the Xbox, Play- Xbox One, PS4, PC. I, I want to say Switch 2. I mean, Switch is getting everything nowadays. And good, for the- and good for Nintendo fans like me. Everyone else out there that supported the Switch. But for some reason, everyone got called back to re- to, re- to, re- to, re- to replay their roles to re- or reprise. That's the word I'm looking for their roles, except Troy. In fact, he even said on Twitter that no one has called him back to to do his role as Yuri again. He would love to. He expressed that he would love it. He's available to do it. He has the time to do it. He, he, or definitely at least squeeze in time to do it, but... I don't know what to tell you. It's just... Why, you know? It's just... It, I mean, it sucks. It kind of reminds me of the whole Lloyd situation where the original voice had the Lloyd... Was in, was replacing Don of the New World, and it just sucks. I mean, don't get me wrong; the actor who played who replaced Lloyd and Don of the New World was still good, but I like the original voice actor better. Same thing here. I know the voice actor they, they get is gonna be fine; is gonna do a fine job. You know, I know it's gonna be competent, but you know, I want Troy Baker. Troy Baker did an excellent job as Yuri and Tales of Vesperia. I want him to back to play his role again. I don't know why they can't get him back again for. Uh, quick, you know, to do it again. I think that's very disappointing. And then it just gets worse, guys. So it's everywhere. I thought it was just like you know, as they say, fake news or clickbait. But everybody and their mama was talking about this. Even them, even the, the even the company themselves confirmed it, and they didn't want it to be true. That is, t- and that is Tall Tale Games. Is going out of business, and this, especially the Tall Tale one, breaks my heart. Hell, two of my Let's Plays I did on my channel is of Tall Tale games. One of them being the 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 the, the Bat the first the first season of the Batman, and and the second one being the third season of the Walking Dead. It just breaks my heart and. And now there's a current scene as the final season really is going to be the final season because there's going to be no more. And now I'm hearing these conflicting reports. I'm hearing two conflicting reports. One is saying that... Um, what's, what are they saying? I'm sorry. Just trying to like, it's, just, I'm just, it's just depressing just thinking about it. Okay. One, one is saying that there's 25 people, like a skeleton crew, that's going to go and finish up the last two episodes. That's what one report is saying. However, there's another report saying that they're all gone. They're working on like a Minecraft like story mode thing for Netflix, and after that's done, that's it. So there's, I'm getting two conflicting stories. One are saying no, the last two episodes will be finished. You know, saying so this is going to be a team of 25 it's going to take longer. But I'm hearing other reports are saying no, uh, they all left, and the episode two that's being released, um, I think sometime later on this. this this month, that's the last episode, and it just ends like that. I'm just like, what the hell, man? I mean, sure, there was. I mean, sure, the first talk to how that that bug where it erased your data, and sure, Bat the first season of Batman had its buggy moments, but I still love Tall Tales. I love the Walking Dead seasons, all one, two, and three. I played. I love Tales of the Borderland. I love the just two seasons of of um of Batman. Um, I love what they did with Guardians of the Galaxy. 
I mean, Guardians of the Galaxy is so popular, you know, thanks to James Gunn, made about epic, you know, characters. It's just a, a movie franchise. Now they have a cool epic game, a pretty cool epic game. You know, and Game of Thrones was another one they did that was fantastic. They did six episodes. I mean, my God. I mean, it, it, of course, the I mean, the, the, I mean and the most underrated one of them all, and I was really looking forward to, but that got canceled due to, you know, you know, financial difficulties. The Wolf Among Us. The Wolf Among Us probably the most underrated Tall Tale game out of all the entire collection of games they made, and it's fantastic. The only one that I really haven't really played was the Minecraft one, because I'm not really the Minecraft, but they did such a fantastic job. Wolf Among Us is like one of my favorite Tall Tale games of all time. In fact, before, probably before the year end, or after I probably get the Call of Duty Let's Play done, I will love to do an honor of Tall Tales going out of business, a Wolf Among Us Let's Play for this channel as a, as a way of saying a proper goodbye to Tall Tales. This is heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. This broke my heart. In fact, it took me till today to do this because I I, I knew I, I'm in better I'm in a better place now because if I had would have done it raw as it come out, I probably would have started crying because I, I they've made so much little games that I loved and cared about and for them to be now just gone and now I'm hearing that the final season which I was looking forward to of The Walking Dead, either A I mean, no more after that, literally, or B, after episode two, that's it. It's just like, I don't know what to believe. I'm really hoping they did f to finish it, because I would love to buy it and, play, and, and say my final goodbyes, but I hate for it to end like this. I'm really praying to God that that PlayStation or Nintendo or Xbox just scoops up Tall Tales. And granted, they'll be only on one system only, but I would like someone to pick them up, because they're such a huge, they're a huge group of talented people, and I hate that they're all over 300 employees losing their jobs and now have to find other work. Very talented, very... People complain about, oh, it's all the same, and no matter what, your choices don't really matter, which they do, in my opinion, but it, it, it all narratively, it all plays the same. But what, it, what, is, what, what we cannot deny, or I can't deny, deny the story, the story, the stories of how these characters and, and, and gameplay, the way the stories of the, of the characters that are written in, in these Tall Tale games are absolutely phenomenal. That's what kept me coming back time and time again. Despite the bugs, despite some of the glitches, I put up with it because of the, not only the good gameplay and good puzzles, but the excellent story-driven characters and single-player campaigns that I just loved. And the way you play have different... Not only... Uh, incur, uh, incur like, you know... And Curtis multiple playthroughs, so because your experience the second time will never be as, will be different from the first time, and I love that. I mean, it adds replay value, and now something like that is gone, just breaks my heart. I really hope that um maybe Square Enix can pick them up since you know Life is Strange did really well, and then they know how to do that formula. Maybe they can like scoop them up and like put them put them in part of the square enix the square enix team i will love some of that i would hate them just to die up to die off like this you know what i'm saying come on if atlas can be saved come on someone please save tall tale games there's a lot of talented people out there and they deserve to be and their, and their work should be continued on and this is heartbreaking to hear <sighs> all right guys um tell me your thoughts in the comment section below your favorite tall tale game of all time, your favorite moment, your favorite game, let me know in the comment section below. I mean, even though I played a ton of Tall Tale games and I love all the death, my favorite one, of course, is the first season of Wa Walking Dead with Lee, it was with Lee and good old Clementine, with the inner adventures together in the world of Walking Dead. It's something that made me cry, and it was unforgettable. It was unforgettable so much so that it won Game of the Year, deservingly so. And now it's sad to see one of my favorite game developers besides THQ like THQ go out of business like this Tall Tales and the employees of Tall Tales thank you for doing all the work that you've done thank you for making all the incredible games that you made I will never ever forget it thank you so much hope you guys find work as soon as humanly possible because you guys are talented and you deserve to get work and I hope your talents don't get wasted alright guys hope you enjoyed the video please make sure to rate comment subscribe as well as Rocket Blade signing out Hope to see you guys again real soon. Peace out. Have a great day.